Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of Blitz Pit 10. Day number one, we've got Wolfbark versus Corfuru. <laughs> and in the booth with me is Throwick, who doesn't have a hello, wrestling hello. aid yet. Hello. <laughs> hello. But it won't be long. It won't be long. You could just put a picture of a, a cabbage or something there. That would just be just as good. Oh! <laughs> KO straight away. Why? Why, okay. why a cabbage? I don't know, it's the first, it was the first uh, vegetable that came to mind. Not that I... Uh, this is just getting worse. I just stopped talking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um... Just, I just thought a cabbage would be funny. Okay. <laughs> right, so... Yeah, so we've got Core, of course, is one of the absolute best players in the world. Um... Yeah. Uh, Wolfbark's pretty good as well, though, isn't he? And Wolfbark, yes, I think, yeah. has the racial advantage here. Definitely has the racial advantage with what to tackle. I mean, skill wise, Core is taking leader. Got a few guards, which is sensible. Yeah, yeah two guards there. That's, uh, that's really good, he isn't it? Guard, getting two he loves guards. It. He loves his guard. Doesn't everyone? But, like, that's very powerful yeah. getting two guards. Um, and Wolfbark didn't go for the claw. I, I kind of hated the claw um, build after seeing it. But actually, it, it was a choice, right? With this build, I believe you could choo choose the double or two normals. So he chose the two normals. But still, he could have had a claw. He blitzed with the mighty blow here. Gets the power. Any damage done? Oh, another KO. That's fine. So then we're, we're evens on the number of players on the pitch at the moment. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, it's quite the quite the first round clash, isn't it? All right, here we go. Got a picture of Throwak ready to put on. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this now, I've said that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm looking forward to saying it's not up yet. <laughs> <laughs> it just needs a smiley face. <laughs> That's what it needs. God, you want the moon on a stick? <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be a placeholder until my wrestler appears. <laughs> I don't read the best Jim and his elf. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're both Jim and they're both in the same clan, of course, in Rebel Clan. Um, and that's good. I think uh, Corey's going to try the old switcheroo here. Oh, fuck off. I think Wolf Barks. Wolfbark's just got to spread a little bit, I think, just to stop him from getting around the side. Yeah, he, 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 there's no rush, is there? But eventually, no, he wants a, to get around the back. No, no rush with one minute turn, not at all. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's no rush to advance, is there? No, absolutely not. But I think he's just got to he's just got to take try and take as many elves out as possible one by one, hasn't he? And yeah. Just hope the best. Yeah. And, and try and win the attrition war. Yeah. I've done this wrong. Oh. Oh. Very impressed at the speed you produced the cabbage. Yeah, I'm, I'm professional. You don't, don't hang around. <laughs> he's, starting to, he's starting to mark up the players now. Is that too early to commit to? Uh, no, no. I think I think that's fine. It's it's as long as you as long as you like you you can stop him breaking, isn't it? As long as you can stop careful breaking, like you just don't him in behind you at any point. It's almost in, he's almost enticing him into it, isn't he? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the only thing. Like, if, at least if they break past you early, you might get back and force them to score. Yeah. Anyway, so like, me. there's that aspect of it as well. <laughs> Alright, this is pretty good. Alright, I've done a pretty good picture. I've done a pretty good picture of Troy. There we go! There we go, look! Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing! <laughs> glorious, baby. <laughs> Excellent, that is glorious. Um, I won't be long, I've just got to go and eat and then I'll be back. I'm sorry I've got to leave you to it, Jimmy, but I will be back. Okay, no worries. I won't be long, buddy. <laughs> oh dear, got to carry on my own. <laughs> it's also going to be a wrestler. Sorry, everybody. Um, this is uh, so he has taken that. He has taken that side. But like you know, so the, you know, the idea of Wolfbart could have been to have like enticed him down there to uh, then you know try and get an early score. Maybe. Okay, for coming four rerolls is nice, isn't it? it? Means he can actually dodge a little bit more. Very interesting. Oh yeah, get get someone's body and put them on. All right, all right, all right. God, you really uh, really making me work for this, aren't you? <laughs> right, I must say, everybody, I'm very sorry. Uh, I feel pretty bad today. Pretty tired and everything from playing uh, playing Blood Bowl three yesterday. Like it's really fucking up my eyes and my head and stuff. Like it's. It's, uh, it's rough. So So, with Barks, just like, you know, if, if he can get back and kind of, you know, let him squeeze through but not stall it out, isn't it? That's what he wants. He wants him to get there and then not be able to stall. And then get the score back. Because I think he's already lost the chance of stopping the score now. Hey. She probably isn't ecstatic about. But there you go. This looks pretty great. C'est le moment de vérité. There's Thrower. <laughs> when he comes back. Thanks, Jim. 
tier 5. <laughs> so yeah, reroll coming in there. Nice 3 plus 2 plus. And yeah, this is the problem, right? Like, without without going deep there, you, you kind of allowed, like... But it would have still been, like, you know, hard. But he, he had to shut off this area, didn't he? Because this was the area that Kitafog would be one to occupy if he pushed past. Throik is the cabbage, yeah. <laughs> and it could indeed be his actual wrestler. <laughs> nah, I'm sure he'll send me a picture of his real face and it'll be alright, but um Until he does <laughs> that that is his wrestler. Animate the googly eyes. <laughs> okay. Now that really is beyond me. I did animation before, didn't I? I've, I've got the uh, I've got the sub thing, so I don't know how to do that. And uh, I don't I I've forgotten how to do it, but I did do it, so I probably could do it again. I probably could do it again and, and animate the googly eyes, but I can't really learn to do that while I'm meant to be commentating on one minute turn. Blood so, without anybody to carry, if Skuro was here, he could have carried and I could have spent half an hour <laughs> working out how to animate googly eyes. But as it is, um, we're going to have to wait for that. Nice, nice little break tackle away here he's got. Problem is he doesn't want to base with his with his sure hands because he definitely wants the sure hands for the second half, doesn't he? It is turn four, so like he can hope to get pressure on eventually. I think yeah, so he doesn't have to break tackle here. He's not desperate for pressure, is he? He can. Uh, he still just wants to make it hard for K Fog to, to to stall out for the whole half. That's true, J Five. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> His head's a bit big, isn't it, actually? Can I change it? I oh, probably can. Right. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. Jesus Christ. This fucking cabbage. Vas-y, mon gars! Morsi l'œil! Le soutien suffira-t-il à prendre le dessus? Classic, uh. Classic L's, isn't it? Classic elves banging on men's. Absolutely disgusting. I mean, it's only on a seven, so it's not unrealistic to uh, break armor in that way. And of course, with the mobility of elves, they can get those hits on the hobbles better. So, you know, k just doing a bit of uh, hobo hunting is fine, isn't it? You'd uh, be quite happy with that. Okay, this is perfect now. There you go. No, oh, there's a kill on a dodge catcher. No apple. Does K Fog have an apple? He does. He doesn't want to use it on a on a dead where it might not work. Hmm. <laughs> 
So, so he just wants to do enough to, like, he's got to get this chance, but I don't, I think he should have been more aggressive this turn, because I don't see how he gets anything better than a two-turn now. I mean, there's no way he gets a, anything better than a two-turn. A uh, two-turn is, is not easy for uh, Chorfs, is it? And in fact, this is pretty easy for Kfog to get the stall. Glorious. No, I won't give in it, until I'm victorious. victorious. And I will defend. This freeze I will defend. He doesn't lose 2D as well. Makes sense. Wispy Cornwall. Uh, glorious Peppered Biscuit. Thank you very much for staying fantastic. On, a, on the way to your first beaver pregnancy. <laughs> well, to your beaver... <laughs> your pregnant beaver. <laughs> completing its term. <laughs> Obviously going to use the reroll there, so that this is tagged if this fails. He's just going to punch him, fair enough. That's totally more reasonable than dodging with him as well. But in here, dodging with him, then you've got another guy to reinforce down here. Um, but okay, I guess, I guess, I guess blocking is better, right? Like, I'll be honest, I wasn't really looking. But there's something to be said for, for dodging, isn't there, to reinforce here, because you'd really like this guy here. Because it, as it is, this guy gets punched, he bases the ball, he can tag other people and, and put you in a bit of trouble. They also have a picture of an ogre. They don't, it's the chorfs that have uh, dial. <laughs> the chorfs, sparks of joy, that is the dial. Big. Fogs is a generic pull-off logo. A spot of bother, yeah? Yeah. So actually, uh, Wolfbark not choosing a base, the ball with tackle, unless he GFIs here. Well, now, yeah, he still could. Is this a double GFI to base the ball? Yep, he's not even going to... I guess he doesn't have to base the tackle because he's not got dodge. So disregard. But still, you'd rather you'd rather have a, a basing him with a warrior, wouldn't you? Blocker. Sorry, this is probably the worst commentary that's ever commentaried. So he does double base. I don't know how good the double base is. I, I think irrelevant. It's a two plus dodge, so it should have um, maybe should have based somebody else as well. Tried to, have. yeah. So he's basing him as well. So now everyone on the team's based. I mean, it's not that much better than the than the single base, is it? Because. He's just about trying to stop him stalling, stalling, and stalling in the corner, isn't it? Is the only objective. So, like the double base, like it obviously is better than a single base. But what I'm, what I mean is, it's not that important. It's more important to get players in that area so they can't stall. There you go. That's true, J5, yep. Correct on both counts, and obviously KFOG thought there was enough. There was enough in that area of the field that he couldn't stall another one, but I think also he'll be comfortable defending against a two-turn from Chops, which aren't very good at two-turning, are they? Will he be able to produce a, a two-turn attempt as Christopher did in the cup? Oh, they're far better than Aqua, yeah, look at that. Abra, Abra, even Ace of Base are better than... No, I don't know, Ace of Base might not be better than Aqua. Aqua only really had one song, right? But it was really fucking good. Whereas Ace of Base had, like... Mostly had one song. But... 
But they did have other songs. Whereas Aqua, really, I guess Aqua had Doctor Jones as well, didn't they? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give that to Aqua between Aqua and Ace of Base. Yeah, yeah, they had Dr. Jones as well. That tips them over the edge. Like, obviously, Barbie Girl was amazing. Like, Song of a Generation Barbie Girl. Incredible. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Only one reroll for Woof. Woof, Woof. Hello, Pendo. And Ripper Duck. And everyone else I haven't said hello to. <laughs> that's good, right? That's a good idea, J5, except probably half of Abba are already dead. Ace of Base are old as fuck, and Aqua will be shit. <laughs> but apart from that, great idea. But it's amazing how much better the com the French commentary is than the British, isn't it? It's so much better. It's one of the worst things about playing the 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 Blood Bowl three is is having to go back to British commentary. Hello, Pedro. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? I just thought they'd all be really old, so I thought at least one of them would have died. I know, right? Scroll, really incredible, isn't it? A, a wonder of game design. I wonder how they thought of that all by themselves. This revolutionary way of controlling players. Oof, another Kaz. No apple again. Um, I think Hayfog should have appled that. I know it's just a lineman, but this is numbers, and the numbers could be telling. Yeah, Triago. I really hate that they listen to, like, the absolute worst people that are like, let's confirm everything because I just haven't got a brain. Like, what the f... Why does everything, like... Oh. Oh. Like, any normal human being, right, would misclick and think, whoops, I'm a dumbass. Better try and not do that again. But instead, there's a lot of people who gave feedback to Blood Bowl 3 that were like, I misclicked once. We better change it so that everything requires double, triple, quadruple confirmation. Fuck me. So horrible. I think Wolf has basically given up on the two turn now, hasn't he? This was not as good as Christopher's attempt. <laughs> it's safe to say this is not as good as Christopher's attempt from the uh, chalice. Like, obviously, he had worse players than Chris had, and it, and, uh, it was a better set from KFOG with the sidesteppers on the wings. Um, but, you know, it's a, this is a rough two turn attempt, isn't it? Ha ha ha, try it for Godono. Hey, I know still, yeah, it's, it's, it's bonkers, isn't it? No apple again? No apple again? Another badly hurt? This is his third cast and he doesn't apple it. That could be overtime. I think KFOG should have appled that. Right, there's, on, there's nobody, there's only no scoring threats. So this is really tough for KFOG to deal with. He does have to take care of zero scoring threats. Did they also feed back? They didn't ever want to know where things were happening on the pitch. <laughs> yeah, it's Riago. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. He's just running away, make sure there can be no... Uh, Chains there, and then gonna blitz this dude because he's armor seven. He might hurt him. Oh, 
Yep, Pedro, yep. And like, you know, there, there are things like they, they, they were kind of pressured into doing this, weren't they? And it could get better before it comes out. We're all living in hope. But at the moment... At the moment... The, uh... <laughs> the reality that we have is, is pretty bad. Um... And all we have is hope. Yeah, exactly, Scroll. Exactly. I wouldn't care if there were like a million bugs. I wouldn't care if there were that many bugs that it was basically unplayable. But but all of these decisions they've made, they've, they've already made them and they've got quite far along with the game thinking this is good, haven't they? Which is terrifying. This is great. This is a great play, isn't it, by Wolfpack? k going for his greedy hit. Has allowed him to chain this guy into range. Incredible, incredible manoeuvre from Wolfpack. Rebel has hit him. How do you do this in one minute turns when normally you need four minutes? Um, but somehow he did it. Almost as if good players don't need four minutes to do things. No, oh, he fails the catch. That was real nice, wasn't it? And he was going to have to dodge as well. That was really nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not about the bugs. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if it was a bug-ridden mess. Like, that would be fine. I would still be... I would have still been hopeful and everything. But it's really taken up. It's really taken the wind out of my sails. Yeah, that's true, Skrull, dude. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just amazing, isn't it? Being able to tell what's happening. Like, it's, it really is quite something. Like, that's all you need. Like, you know, at the end of the day... Don't get me wrong, I prefer Blood Bowl 2 graphics to, to Fumble. I do not prefer Blood Bowl 1 graphics to Fumble, because the most important thing is to know what the fuck's going on on the field. And Blood Bowl 1 failed massively in that regard for me. I really did not enjoy it. I only played I only played a little bit. I only played in OFL because I really liked like you know all of the th things about the league. Um, like all the extra things they did and stuff. But I just endured Blood Bowl 1 to play it. I would rather be playing Fumble than Blood Bowl 1. And Blood Bowl 3 has, got, has gone that way. in Like, because it hurts your eyes. And you can't see what the fuck's happening. So even if they tidied up the contrast, it would still be, like, too busy and hard to see what was happening. But, like, I guess you'd get used to it. But yeah, the controls, the controls are horrible. And like, they're not gonna, they're not gonna overhaul that, are they? Like, I don't see how they're gonna do that. Like, they're not seeing who's blocking. You'd imagine they'd fix that. And you know, the the player cards would come up on the side or whatever. Like, you know, you you can imagine they're gonna fix a lot of the things that are wrong. I am but, back in my belly as well. And glorious, hello, Thrake. You've got a, you've got an improved wrestler now. Look. Have I? <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. That is so good. Oh dear. That's a proper shit meal. Not that I was down, but you know. So, what's the, what's the crack? So, core is 1 0 up. But four but, players down. Yeah, I was going to say four players down and a dead dodge. Yeah, I feel like he should have appled one of these badly hurt linemen, but he didn't. He's still got his app out. Yeah. Oh, he has, yeah. Yeah, I think he's struggle now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, Calcium, I haven't really talked about the game much. I've tried. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm really tired and like... I don't know, my head's done in after... My head's battered after trying to play. A game that's meant to be enjoyable in Blood Bowl 3. 
Like, I know it's just the beta test, whatever. Yeah, but... well, I'm going to try again tomorrow, and I'm going to try really hard to get longer than turn six before <laughs> I give up. <laughs> you haven't found it too hard to tell what's happening in Rule 3. You're joking, aren't you, Squirrel Dude? Someone gets blocked, and you've got no idea who's doing the block. <laughs> you literally have got no idea. <laughs> Your opponent's active, you've got no idea what dice roll you fail when it says, like, do you want to re-roll? Oh, that's awful. That's what got me today. That's when I gave up. I was like, I don't even know what I've done wrong. Yeah. And also, the keep the roll should be in red because it's ending your turn. And the re-roll should be in, like, green or blue because it's got a, a chance of keeping your turn going. But they've done it the wrong way around. It is ridiculous. Well done, Ori Lenses. <laughs> Oh, Aurel Lenses, well done. But you, my hat's off to you because I've tried three times and haven't been able to do that. <laughs> mm, hopefully, Johnson. Yeah. <coughs> ah, Is it worth sticking a foul in here from Wolf Park, do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, probably. May as well, your number's up, aren't you? Yeah, he's got a reserve up. as well. He's got a reserve. There's already hardly enough players to, to mount a serious defence. So just get fouls in and uh be a big one. That's what she said. <laughs> it is! <laughs> Here's the apple. He's thinking about it. But he just gets fouled, so like he can't read the apple, right? He's just gonna get fouled again, isn't he? Yeah. He does apple. I thought that's when he's like it. now he's got to apple, hasn't he? With all the players that are gone, and it's like definitely he could have just appled a lineman. I know it's a shitty lineman, but still, numbers are important. <laughs> Fucking hell, Petra. Mm. Um. L'équipe forme une cage autour du ballon. Pas bête comme tactique. Yeah, it's rough, isn't it? It's rough. It's it's really rough. And it's not really exaggerating either, because it's it's a it's hard work to play. I think if you had, I think if the minority was saying what the majority was saying, you could probably argue that case. But it's not pretty much everyone. Is saying do better yeah. and not just do better, do an enormous amount better because it's not very good. Yeah. Do you get this big foul in now? One, two, three, four, five. I'm surprised Wolfer isn't so far on the fouls, to be honest, because, like, K Frog's good, isn't he? Like, he can do magic with very few elves left on the field, so I would really be, more than I would against, like, a normal dude in CCL, I'd really be looking to, to you know, be able to advance in a safe and secure way where I could get big fouls in because you really want him down players. Like, there's a big difference between him with, like, seven players and him with five players, isn't it? Yeah. Because, yeah, at least the shitty pitches are, like, are, like, bland, <laughs> and they're just a base for the players, aren't they? Whereas with that, them all being all that brown and stuff and like the insane brightness and contrast of them it's like just fuck off i think i think you know the um you know my head my cabbage head yes i think i'm gonna have to use that as my twitch logo nice <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna have to figure out how to do that but i'm gonna i'm gonna do that that looks like it should be a thing glorious <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly, Pedro. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Oh, 
Hey, Southfield. <laughs> I'm all set at all. Uh, it's, yeah, it's. I don't know. I'm just. I'm only half here. At least Thrax here to carry with this cabbage head. <laughs> <laughs> See that's a, see he's putting his uh, blitz there. He's gone blitz there. He's dodging in the way of a blitz there. Yep. But I don't think he's really got much of a choice. No, he doesn't. Co both coaches uh, clearly sticking to the re-roll equity, ready for overtime. Yeah, yeah, three two. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. I'm keeping you up. <laughs> I'm not trying to mean. I'm fucking. I'm just shattered. It's, it's oh god. <laughs> It's ruined me trying to play Blood Bowl 3. And again, it might, it, you know, you, you've got to imagine they're going to fix the, like, the ridiculous eye strain and headache aspect of it. You, you, oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah, they've got to fix that. They've got to. So, like, you've almost got to give them a free pass on that because it's so fucking bad they have to fix it. But by the same token, how is it that fucking bad? Like, how haven't they already fixed it before now? Like, they've sent this to PC Gamer. Like, like fucking how is it in there? Or, you know, it's because, you know, like PC Gamer said, Cyanide are clearly the experts of Blood Bowl outside <laughs> of Games Workshop. Let's not forget that. <laughs> Let's not forget that statement. Well, it's yeah. burned and etched into my brain. <laughs> Shame they're not experts on making computer games. <laughs> <laughs> Which you'd think they would be, considering that's what they do. <laughs> like, like that's that's my main that's my main problem with it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, how is that? How is like, how is it in that state? How has it got to this point? How could they even show their dog that? Never mind the public. Like. It's insane, isn't it? Like, that's. It's so horrendously. But how can a fucking video game just cause you pain to. to experience? Like, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> I just can't understand the, like, how bad that is. Anyway. <laughs> Back to the game. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, J5, yeah, that would be really bad, wouldn't it? Every time every time you moved, like, a hand came down and picked it up and moved it, that would be amazing. <laughs> like, when you declare an action, you hear a voice going, I will now make a blitz. <laughs> and then a hand comes down and moves. <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane. <laughs> Illegal procedure. Illegal <laughs> procedure. That's what you get. <laughs> Not that that's a thing anymore, but that's still what comes to mind when I think of uh, Uber gamers. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, flip the board. When you concede, they'd flip the board. That'd be amazing. Like, actually making it like a, like a board game would have been better, wouldn't it? Like, making it like Toy Soldiers board game come alive would have been fucking better than what we've got. That would have been pretty funny. <laughs> like, you could, you, could have the, uh, you could have the WWE create a wrestler fit to make your avatar. <laughs> <laughs> So like, so like, if you were playing K big, big K Fog, he would just be there as like a giant pink bunny. It'd <laughs> 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 <That'd> be great. Now <laughs> then, oh, he's got to realise that he needs at least the push. Was... Yeah, yeah. Gonna say he had to re-roll that. <laughs> um, game store smell. Yeah. Oh yeah. I remember Sorry. one of my friends. No, one of my friends. I, I've talked about it on the podcast before. Rage quit in spectacular style. And when we had, we were in a blood bowl. It was a Lincoln Games Workshop, and we were there one evening. And he just kept rolling ones, and he did the the classic. Uh, I can't say table flip, but he lifted up the board, 
with his models and the Bounty's opponent. <laughs> no word of a lie. Threw it across the room where the models were hitting people. Wow. He stormed out. He was like, I'm not playing this epic game again. Wow. It was, it was hilarious. And he's never played it since. Wow. I know. It was it was amazing. Not gonna lie. At least at least he, he at least he remained true to his word, unlike unlike <laughs> most people where they go Well, me and my friend Mark, we're gonna stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> his theory was what his issue was, it's like he was saying it's just a game that whoever rolls a one first loses. Which I mean there is a little bit of truth in that, depending on how many ones you roll. But that was his main issue. I mean, this was, I'm talking third edition, so it was a while ago. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, Triago, yeah. There were people that uh, I knew who played uh, Iron Man Warhammer, where <laughs> if a player died, you had to... You had to smash the model with a hammer. <laughs> Which is pretty, pretty silly. But like, it's all right if you're just gonna throw them away, isn't it? I, I desperately want to throw away all of my old models, but I can't because I know they're worth something. So I can't just literally throw them away, even though I can't be chewed with putting them on eBay and everything. <laughs> so I've just got them all sitting, sitting in my house collecting dust because. Like, you know what I mean? They're worth too much to just throw away, but then also... It's, it's, it's so much hassle for such little money to, like, but you know, individually, to put them on eBay, so I'm just, like, pissed off. Were the extravagant millionaires? Not really, no. No. I've thrown away plenty of models in my... in my team. This should be, this should be quite easy now for Wolfbart to get in. It. it should be. I mean, it already was when you had no fucking players left, wasn't it? Like, you know, from, from the starting the drive, like, you started the drive against, like, no players. It, it, yeah. It was, it was always pretty easy. Okay, if I just had to hope that, like, the turns when he got his sidesteppers in, something went wrong, or it didn't. So, this will, you know, all being well should go to OT, but then if Wolfbart receives, then I think that's pretty much game over. Yeah. <laughs> Where the wall for a tenner. No. No, Pedro. I can't, I can't sell them for a tenner. <laughs> but, you, yeah. like, if I'll you go. sell... I'll like, go to 11. <laughs> like, if you sell an army for, like, say, I don't know, my Necrons, right? My Necrons, let's say there's... Let's say there's 10 parts to the army. And if you were to sell it on eBay, you'd probably get, like, 70 quid. But if you were to sell them all individually, you'd probably get, like, 120. Probably That's more. it. You've got, you've got it. Break them down. <laughs> So it's, it's probably, so it's probably not even that, right? It's probably like, it's probably like 120 for the army or 200 selling them individually. So, and then when you've got like about five armies, then it's like, but it's just so much hassle and like, it's so much hassle to make 12 pounds that I just don't want to spend all that time to make a tenner, you know? <laughs> Basically. But then there's so many tenors that like, you can't throw them away. <laughs> See what I mean? So this is easy for Wolfbark now, I'll just sit and yeah. chill out in that corner until next turn. Yep. What's a Necron? Uh, like Space Camry. Yeah, Space Camry. <laughs> That's a good description. The other one was like the green green things on their guns, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, I was never really into 40k. I had an orc team for a while. An orc army, should I say. Yeah. Never really got on with them. Never never really got on with 40k. Especially the orcs, because they were just stupid. I had yeah. some killer cams for a while. They were good. They were oh, good. yeah, yeah. Killer cams were good. Good. They, they were good models, actually. Like that. Yeah. And I All think right. I had a, a basilisk tank. Because you could, with I think with orcs, 
you yeah. could um, basically have any tank you wanted because the fluff wise you'd just go and steal it wouldn't you? yes yeah they, 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 they would yeah. loot things yeah that's it so I had a basilisk tank which was amazing <laughs> Um, and do you know what? They were, they were, they, me and my friend were going to uh, scratch build, like, oh, what, what's the apocalypse armies? We were going to scratch build like rocket pulsar rockets. Pulsar rockets were like yeah, yeah, insanely yeah. overpowered. Uh, like they're from Epic, but they brought out rules for them in like forty k, and they were like insane. And we we were going to we were going to we were going to scratch build them, but then didn't. <laughs> So it's not much of a story, but it would have been an amazing army just to have eight pulsar rockets. It would be like, <laughs> it would be the most insane thing ever. Or how many, how many would have all made? I think, I, I mean, I wish I'd kept my it because I had a massive dwarf army and a vampire counts army with, and I had the, the, the count on the dragon as well. Oh, yeah. Um, and the black coach, things like that, yeah. which were great models. Yeah. But I mean, talking a good 20 years ago. Yeah, it was never cool. <laughs> it was never, it, it, it was never and will never be cool. Even even though Henry Cavill likes it, it's still not cool, is it? It's just something that a cool guy likes. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good way of putting it. Yeah. I'm going to risk the blitz. Believe he might. Yeah, of course he is. It's going to 3D. <laughs> yes, Pedro, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. When it's. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. When you're younger, it doesn't matter so much that it's uncool when you're 10. <laughs> but it matters a lot more <laughs> that it's uncool when you're 16. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. He's not going to try one turn, is he? It's K Fog, so maybe. With seven players, that's really pushing it. Probably needs a quick snap. I would imagine. Oh. But yeah, so yeah, my point of mentioning the Pulse Rockets was that's the only time I even thought about getting anything with Orcs in, because I fucking hate Orcs. <laughs> <laughs> that was the point of mentioning it. I realised, like, I, as I said it, I was like, what was, the, what was the point of this? Because I didn't build them, but that was the point. That was as close as I ever came to owning any Orcs, was, was we thought about scratch building them for Apocalypse, but then didn't. Um... But yeah, they they were insanely powerful, the uh, pulsar rockets, and then they they brought an even more powerful thing, which was uh, necron. Oh, necron pylons, necron pylons were completely insane, um, and then we thought about scratch building them, but didn't. <laughs> Great stories there. <laughs> Next time, on Mark and Jimmy talk nonsense. <laughs> pylons construct more pylons or pile on like blood bowl whichever way you look at it pylons were like they were like they were stupid but then they nerfed them to death <laughs> yeah I'm glad you're enjoying it Frankfurt <laughs> this is as good as it gets on this channel <laughs> Really, That is something. This doesn't help the one turn, does it? He won't re-roll this part when he's got the pass anyway, so he will re-roll it. Wouldn't have re-rolled the GFI. Gets the pass off. Easy. Nerves of steel. Gets the 1D push. Can he do it? I'm excited, I'm excited. I don't know if he gets the third... Like, does, the, does the sidestep hit do the last hit? I don't understand how he gets the last hit.
Oh my goodness. How does this man's brain work? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, he's, he's failed. He can't re-roll this, surely. But he's not got much of a chance, has he? No. So he goes there, and then he would have pushed it. So... No, but he would have pushed him to there. He could and have brought then, the guy around the side there. And then he would have pushed him to there, but I don't know how he would have got the third push. No. So I'm not sure he could have done that. It's not It's not made for simple minds like ours, Jimmy, you know that. No, it's not. My head's hurting almost as much as if I tried to play a game made in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Frankfurter, I thought about pre-ordering Blood Bowl 3, but then I didn't. <laughs> and won't. It's <laughs> <laughs> looking a bit of a throw it. I should have made it. I should have used a different character because people can probably tell that's lame as good. Il faut trouver de quoi les remplacer. Les deux équipes sont au coude à coude. Ce coup de pied est crucial. Well, do you know what? This could have been worse, wouldn't it? Yeah. On two, three, four. Still nine players on the front. This is looking good for KFOG, isn't it? Yeah, nine players. Yeah. And three re-rolls. This is looking rough for, for Woof. Rough for Woof? Rough for Woof. Rough, rough. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, J5, yeah. <laughs> Me and my friend Johnny, we're gonna stop buying it. <laughs> and if you don't know what that is, it was Triple H doing a great promo. But people slated him for, but I thought it was I thought it was great. I mean Undercooked is a bit of an understatement, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it is as well. They've finished kneading the dough. <laughs> I think I would love to see Gordon Ramsay react to Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> it's fucking raw! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot! Oh god, Ooh. that's bad for Wolf. That's, this is big. This is big, that's what she said. Wee. Wee. Unlucky though, actually, for KFOG, right? Getting two guys down compared to only five. Like, he's kind of uh, kind of got the harsh end of the stick. The fact that he had the two fame, obviously, it was just random that he had the two fame. But, um, he had it. I'm confused by this. <laughs> yeah. Because the ball's the other side. Yeah. Maybe he's just going to pull it back. Gonna switch it, yeah. I'm just going to hand off. Yeah, I guess because to get away from the ball, I guess. Yeah. Bonne transmission, ça joue sans accro. Oh, there's not a oh, okay, the catcher can hold it. The catcher can hold it, can't he? Does it is he just gonna hold it? He could hold it deep. Yeah, if he holds it deep out of a he's gone forward, so he's gonna pass it to the catcher. Cole wants this over. He wants it done. I mean he hasn't got any fucking players, so it makes sense. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna but run he's, down flank, isn't he? He's One, running two. out of time, he hasn't declared a pass action! Oh no, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Just teasing us. Got three seconds left. Yeah. You know he's got he's yeah, got to work. Um, game. That is game. He's got to mark these down players because oh no they're face down. You can tell they're stunned. Oh that's okay. Well at least they won't change that for. Bl oh no yeah they did change. That, <laughs> 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 that was proper. 
super funny. Oh dear. Yes, Mordred, yep. Fucking pointlessly. Okay. Fucking pointlessly. Dio against the loser of this. Okay, thank you, Tom Schneider. Spoilers, everybody. Dio's <laughs> a loser. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I taped that on VHS and was going to watch it back later on tonight, but now you've ruined it. <laughs> I'd even got one of those special uh, video cases that look like a book. Oh, lovely. Did you, did you did you ever do did your mum or dad or somebody you know ever like have those but then did those like labels with the black strip that you could like print not print but impress the number on? Oh that's it, Wolf Park's gone. No, I've got no idea what you're talking about for that. Oh, I can't even show it. I can't even show it. Oops. That's it, that's game. Yeah, well done, K Fog. He goes marching on to round two. What time's the next one, Jay, to start? Like in about a minute or so, probably. All right, okay. Yeah, it's, it's rapid. There's like, there's a, you know, there's a couple of minutes between each round and that. And, uh, and you know, just time for a teen away, basically, between matches. Sometimes not even that long. But uh, we're going to have a three-minute break while I run ads and get a cup of tea and everything. And I will uh, do the same. There you go. But thank you very much, Throik, for joining us. Uh, thanks for watching, um, I'll... everyone. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, carry on. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.